Sarah Hill from Story Up Studios. Just wanted to give you a brief recap of what's been going on this week at Oculus Connect. The keynotes got underway uh, this morning. They just finished up. I'm out here on the Chinese theater. We're gonna tell you about some of the things that we learned. By far, the most fascinating thing at the conference was Oculus Touch. These are the hand controllers that allow you to have hand presence within VR, within virtual reality. So you can pick up items, 3D objects, if you will. You can hand them to uh, someone on the other side of the world and they could pick it up. Uh, in the toy box simulations where they were simulating Oculus Touch, uh, we were able to interact with uh, another you know, person on the other side of a table in this toy box. And we picked up blocks, we built towers, we played ping pong with that person, we did fist bumps. We shook the hand of another virtual person uh, within that shared space. You could paint in there, you could do sparklers in there, you could shoot off Roman candles. Really fascinating and, and increased the level of immersion to me by having hand controls. Those Oculus Touch devices will ship with the Oculus Rift, which will come out in Q1 of 2016. 3D audio, a lot of programming around 3D audio here at Oculus Connect. So it's not just surround sound anymore for videos or for virtual experiences. It is positional audio. So the way they describe that is that the audio now has verticality. So you um, need to have verticality, have it be horizontal, have it be all the way around in the sphere because when you turn your head, the audio also needs to turn with you. So with that positional audio, and we hear some audio right now, I described it as if the audio was above you, like you were underwater, you would want that water audio to be above you and not below you. Otherwise, it would give you the sense that you were on top of the water when you wanted to be underwater. So 3D audio to go with the 3D video and 360 d video. John uh, released a new camera called the John One. It's 24 cameras, 24 cameras in gray. It has an 8K output. A lot of people fascinated to see what kind of video uh, will come out of that John camera. They had it set up in the developer's annex and the developers were just going by and rolling over it. It will be interesting to see what kind of video that is able to produce. The Proto Awards were in conjunction uh, with Oculus Connect this week. They weren't necessarily uh, together, but they, they happened to coincide. Uh, I went and, and saw some great VR experiences. Uh, Felix and Paul Studios won for Best Live Action and uh, for their a VR experience called Curios. It was by Cirque du Soleil, and they have a lot of other great 360-degree uh, 3D videos. You should check out one that they're playing here by the Clinton Global Initiative in Africa. Really fascinating, some crazy good 360 3D to watch. Also at the Proto Awards, Ivan Sutherland came up on stage. He's the godfather of VR and was addressing all the content creators. And he said something that really resonated with a lot of us when it comes to these cameras. You know, we're all looking at these cameras and, and you know, how can these cameras make our content better? And he said something that was really unique. He said, you know, it's not the camera who creates the content, it's you. So go out and create some great uh, VR content. That from Ivan, Ivan Sutherland at the Proto Awards. Also, at the keynotes today, uh, Mark Zuckerberg talked about a video being the golden age. We are in the golden age of video and VR, Zuckerberg says, is the next platform. Samsung announced that the new Gear VR coming out uh, will be reduced in price to $99. $99, it will work with the whole line of Samsung phones and will be shipped in time for Black Friday. Also, Oculus announced they have a new platform called Medium and it allows you to use the Oculus Touch controllers and actually sculpt with uh, virtual clay. Uh, so it will be interesting to see uh, what artists uh, come into this and, and start creating uh, creations within virtual reality uh, and it essentially really allows you to move it around on the potter's wheel. So a lot of different ways that people are creating, not just with video and virtual reality, but with clay, with hand controllers and everything else. And I really think Zuckerberg um, had it right when he said we are at the golden age of video and VR is the next platform. Just wanted to give you an update from Oculus Connect. Take a look just outside the Chinese theater.